If, if we go with God, He shows His goodness with His companionship. Look at verse 36. He's talking about the ark and he says, And when it rested, he said, Return, O Lord, unto the many thousand of Israel. Notice what happened here. The ark is rested and then God returns to the people. Nowhere, nowhere in their departure from Egypt were the children of Israel alone. God was with them. Nowhere in their, in their journey to the promised land were they alone. God was with them. Nowhere even in their wandering in the wilderness because they had disobeyed God were they alone. Though they may have felt it at times, they weren't. God was still with them. Nowhere through their, their conquering the land were they alone. God was with them. They at times uh, turned from Him. They at times had, had done wrong and had um, difficult times. Trials come that, that they may have felt alone, but they weren't alone. God was with them. And for the Christian today, the same is true. If we will go with God, we are never alone. It reminds me of a verse like John 14, 6, and I will pray the Father, and He shall, uh, shall give you another comforter that He may abide with you forever. If we go with God, you're never going to be alone. Notice that verse, forever. Amen. You're never going to be alone. There may be times that, that you turn from God, but He's still right there. There may be times that, that you feel alone, times where, where you're going through trials and problems in your life and you feel like God's no longer there and gone anywhere.